Okay, today's blog post is a whole lot of automation. I've got several things I want to share in this one, and it pulls a bunch of different concepts together into one pretty neat workflow, I, I think. I do want to start off by cautioning you that if you're using Easy Event 8, do not attempt this workflow. It can cause some pretty serious problems. I came up with this workflow because I had a large folder of images that I needed to retouch, but I also wanted to keep track of which ones had been worked on and which ones hadn't very quickly and easily, as well as there was a couple things that I did automatically to every image, and I didn't want to have to manually run an action. So the first thing that we're going to do is jump into Photoshop and see what all is going on there. Okay, here we are in Photoshop, and we're going to look at this action set called Web Video. This is by no means a video on how to write actions. Hopefully you have some familiarity with actions already. And just about all of the actions in this set are very simple actions, nothing really complicated on them. So let's start by looking at the Web Video, and inside that action set we see we have uh, five different actions. The first one's called rotate. Basically, this rotates our first document from a horizontal to a vertical. So we'll go ahead and play that. Our second is a vignette action. And this is going to set a selection. Um, basically, it's going to put an oval marquee on it. It's going to invert it, add a curves layer, make an adjustment layer, so we get a nice vignette across our image. So we see that has been applied. The next action, a little bit more complicated, but I'm going to make a text layer and change some attributes of that text layer so it um, will show up whether it's a high key or a low key image. And um, if we look up here at my layers palette, we can see I've done that by changing the fill to zero and adding a bevel emboss effect to that. And then the last action in here is a metadata action. This is probably the one that will be the least familiar, and it's actually setting up four different attributes. So let's come up here and see where that works. If we come under File, File Info, on our Description tab, this information here as far as uh, author, keywords, copyright notice is what's going to be filled out. As you write this into an action, each one of these steps needs to be an individual step in the action. You can't combine them together. So I'll go ahead and run that, and it runs very, very quickly. So now if we come back under our file info, we can see that it's put in H&H Color Lab as the author. It's put in a description. It's put in a keyword called retouched. It's changed the copyright status and put in a copyright notice. So all of that information now is contained within the image. At this point, I could come on the image manually, change where the uh, text placement is, and say I want that at the bottom of the image. And this may be something that I'm going to vary around from image to image. I could also come in and run uh, further retouching. I could do manual cleanup, whatever I needed to do. And then when I'm done, I'm just going to flatten the image and then save that out as a JPEG. So I'm just going to save over itself. Once again, if you're using Easy Event 8, do not attempt this workflow. The step that I just did by resaving the image from a horizontal to a vertical is going to make a lot of problems in Easy Event 8, so do not go there. Okay. So we've just talked through, we rotated the image, we added the vignette, we added a text, and we appended a lot of metadata to it. So I'm going to close this image, and we're going to open up another one real quick. And this time, we're going to create a new action, and we're going to use a command that is in Photoshop CS6 if you're on the cloud version, and it's on photo, in Photoshop CC. And this is the insert conditional statement. We find that right here under our disclosure triangle, insert conditional. And basically, this lets us say, if there are specific attributes of the image, in this case, if the document is landscape, then I want to play, play the action rotate. 
if it's horizontal, or I mean, if, it, if it's a vertical image, then do nothing. So that conditional statement right here is going to always rotate that action. And then it's going to automatically play the vignette, the text, and the metadata. So we're going to run that action right now, the run on open. And we're going to see it's automatically going to go through all those steps that we did manually. Click one, we clicked rotate, we clicked vignette, we clicked text, we clicked metadata. And now again, we're at a point where we can do additional retouching. We can move the text layer around wherever we want it to go. Um, we can check to see that our metadata has been appended correctly. All of that is in there. Perfect. So let's back up a step. So that's how we opened it. Now here's the meat of the video. Everything up to this point was just things we're going to normally do. Wouldn't it be great if whenever I opened the image, this automatically happened? I don't want to have to come in and say, run that action every time I open an image. Well, lucky for us, there is a way to do that. Isn't that why we're doing the video anyway? Okay, so to do that, come under File, Script, Script Event Manager. And this has been around for several different versions of Photoshop. Um, probably back to Photoshop CS5, possibly earlier, but I don't remember. So we're going to come to the Script Event Manager, and we're going to enable it to start with. We're going to choose our Photoshop event, which in this case is open the document. We're going to choose an action. The action set, in this case, is our web video. And the action that we want to run is our run on open. Once you've done that, press add. That will add it into this section and then say done. I'm going to close this image. I'm not going to save it. We'll come back over here to bridge. And we'll grab an image, open it up, and automatically the action, the rotate, the vignette, the text, and our file info, we'll bring that up again just so we know it's there, have been applied. Perfect. We're going to do our additional modifications. We're going to flatten the image. We're going to save it and close it. And I could write some additional actions to take care of some of those steps, but don't want to worry about that yet. So when we come back here to Bridge, what I want you to notice now, we see these two images have been worked on. In this case, it's very easy to tell that they've been worked on because they're vertical and everything else is horizontal. But I want to make this a little bit easier to work with. So we're going to come to our keywords. And you'll notice under keywords, there are now going to be two keywords listed, either no keywords or retouched. Gives me an idea. What if I filter for no keywords? I'm just going to see the images that need to be worked on. So we'll open up the next image. It's going to automatically do its stuff. We're going to flatten it. We're going to save it and close it. We'll come back to bridge. And we'll see it disappears off. And you can notice here are no keywords. Every time we do this, we'll go down by one. So the combination of adding that script event manager in Photoshop to automatically apply these actions whenever I open the image appending the metadata with a keyword so that we can filter for no keywords allows us to quickly see which images we need to work on, which images we've already done the work on, and continue through. So if this is a large project that I might be working over several hours and I need to take a break in the middle, I can very quickly see where I was and continue on without having to take any notes or look really close at the images to see if I've had them retouched. So hopefully that combination of things give you, gives you a couple of tips to help speed up your workflow. There's also the evil side to using the script event manager, but we'll save that for an April Fool's Day video. Stay tuned.